So be careful who you choose as role models. All right. <clears throat> Most of us, if you're kind of keeping up with what's going on in the world and the internet and all this stuff, you're going to get a whole lot of information about people like Elon Musk and people like Steve Jobs and people like Bill Gates and some of these people that are just, you know, way, way out there uh, doing remarkably interesting things. Um, and I think if most of us, okay, there's only room for a few of those people, a few like Elon Musk, not many people are going to take the Tesla and send it to Mars on a spaceship, okay? That's just a very limited number of people are going to be doing that. But if we're spending our time emulating those people or thinking about I want to be like Elon kind of thing, you're kind of setting yourself up for failure. It's a very limited you know, number of spots for that. And I got to say, I've done some of that in my life where I've kind of thought about these people or those people. <clears throat> and what I've learned is, and what, what I want to help, help you with, is we need to set our sights on more inter, intermediate things. There's just, you know, of course, there's one Elon, but there's just so many super successful millionaire business people just in North America. You know, there's, there's just hundreds and hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of, of people who have built a solid business. It generates lots of income. They have, lot, they have financial freedom. They have freedom of time, freedom of movement. Um, so they built, let's just say, a, a $20 million business doing something that they know a lot about. And they make all the money they need. They have a couple of houses. They, they travel the world as they want to. And they're free. You know, they don't have to worry about the paparazzi coming out and taking pictures of them wherever they go. So I say, you know, when you're, particularly when you're emerging and you're starting your business career, start to think about, you know, what area can I have that kind of success in? You know, where can I be good? If I'm really good, let's just say I'm good at... Uh, at fishing, you know, I'm kind of the fishing guy, and I, I, I want to make boats, and I want to make bass boats, and I want to eventually have my own boat distributorship, or I want to make the boats, or whatever it is. And you eventually you have a 20 or a 30 or a 50 or a $100 million business, and you're very successful. That's a great place to shoot for. And if something breaks for you, right, if you have some breakthrough, if you think of something just super clever, who knows, you might be, you know, you might become like an Elon. You never know. I think those kind of breakthroughs, you know, you know, it's, it's, I don't think anyone plans to be king of the world, right? You just kind of plan to do the best you can in your area, and sometimes you have a breakthrough like Elon. But uh, anyway, I would plan for something that's, uh, you know, somewhere between where you are now and, and, you know, taking a rocket to Mars, and I think you'll be a lot happier. And if you do have a breakthrough, you can go to Mars too. <laughs>